Okay, this case, uh, this case, commits in 86, the year I was born, and um, <laughs> so I wanted to give a song that reflected the time of the music industry. So DJ, uh, DJ, DJ Papa Bear on the ones and twos. <laughs> this is uh, this is sung to the tune of Biz Marquis, Just a Friend. Hey, I lost it. <laughs> This case brings before us the disputes among companies, one selling coal and the other purchasing. Lucifer took a risk and signed a price for contract with coal costing double at 44 a pack. Unfortunately, a regulatory body prevented Nipsco from the following, raising their rates, passing their costs, all to the detriment to the customer scene. Consequently, Nipsco stopped accepting the coal from carbon because it was too frustrating. 181 million, the jury awarded to carbon. So the issue on appeal is whether Nipsco is free, free of contract and contract free. This is the impeded performance of a party called the frustration of purpose decree. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> oh, Carbon, you <laughs> don't have what I need. Oh, this is too frustrating. Oh, this is too frustrating. Oh, Carbon, you <laughs> don't have what I need. Oh, this is too frustrating. Oh, this is too frustrating. The court held that frustration was too compact because risk had been allocated within the contract. Market price was down and the government frowned, but these are factors when drafted within the contract bounds. So the rule of this case for fixed price contracts, don't allocate risk to where it's not exact. Make sure you know the difference between impossibility and the frustration of purpose decree. Or like Nipsco, your risk won't pass. Something new we haven't heard in Bishop's class. For carbon, you don't have what I need. This is too frustrating. Frustrating. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.